And now the man who knows that no matter who the guest is, the show is always about him. The host of Wind Funnel, Dino Bravo. I am entertaining, and I know what viewers like you want. I've been behind the wheel of a race car, I've been underneath the race car, turning the wrenches. I've been on both sides of this desk. I've been behind the camera, I've been in front of the camera, and I will bring 30 years of motorsports journalism to you in your living room. Welcome to the Wind Funnel. I am your host, your new host, Dino Bravo. And I think you're going to like me. Truth is, you don't really have any say in the matter because I signed on for a full year of HOCC TV to host the Wind Funnel. Tonight we are at the Mini Milwaukee Mile for the annual running of the Trokin Cup 500 and the beginning of another exciting season of HO Champ Car action. I'm joined by two-time defending winner of this prestigious event, John Shea. Uh, but before we meet John, <laughs> let's talk about me, okay? All about Bravo. Why did the Here management of HOC TV bring me on to host Win Funnel? Quite frankly, ratings. Ratings are what it's all about. The show, <laughs> while brilliant in format, had grown stale, old, and boring. How do you like me so far? <laughs> ah, and of course, you'll hear my many opinions on the topics that shape the HOCC. Without further ado, my guest on today's Win Funnel. He has won this event the last two years running. He owns Victory Lane here at the Mini Milwaukee Mile. John, welcome to the funnel. Glad to be back on the funnel with a new host. Well, it's good to have you here. A lot of fun. Yeah, you have uh, you have been teamed with Everett Kamikawa, <clears throat> uh, good friends on and off the speedway, but yep. this off season, <clears throat> you were the center of the silly season. Uh, <laughs> I, I see the website. A very silly season. It was a very silly season, kind of like this program. <laughs> Not quite as. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You were at the center of it because you and your teammate didn't have a team. Right. Yeah. We got jobs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By WI jobs. Yeah. First WI jobs sold or get sold. Got versus, sold. Yeah. 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 So there went your sponsor. Yep. And with that, our sports said, "Take them fancy pants drivers and that fancy pants helmet and uh, see you fancy Bye -bye. pants." Yeah. Right. So what's going on with, with your team? I have not a clue. No. <laughs> not a clue. None. Yeah, no, uh, I, don't, yeah, I don't know. You know, we're, uh, uh, I'm still representing uh, Roosport Sport HO here tonight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. After tonight, I have no idea. Uh, there's no WisconsinJobs.com money anymore, so that's the last time you're going to hear me mention them. Um, <laughs> and the, the you are, advertising you are space, sale. you the are advertising for space formerly held by them is uh, for sale. What uh, what is the uh, dollar sign? Uh, in in, in that, H O yeah. H O C C dollars, that would be a twenty million dollar twenty million sponsorship. Twenty yep. million. Yep, twenty million. A bargain at half the price. It is. It really is. Yeah. In H O C C dollars, I mean, I don't know what that works out in euros. But, right, right. You know, right. it's it's a lot of right. money. Yep. You have won this event the last two years in a row. In fact, you have dominated the last two years in you win with a team that is for sale <laughs> and without a teammate um no probably no? not <laughs> no. Right. no well it's no, good to see you things are yeah Thanks things are coming. things are pretty cutthroat but uh you know we'll, we'll give it the uh we'll give it a good effort what the heck there you go that's see what happens. that's that's the kind of spirit that's going to bring you a 20 million dollar sponsorship yep last call last call Last call for tonight's last call. last call. We're going to do a 30 second with John Shea. I ask the questions for 30 seconds. Nope. You give the answers All right. short and sweet. M&M's, plain or peanut? Definitely peanut. Motley Crue or Ozzy Osbourne? Uh, Crew. Camaro or Firebird? Firebird, that's an easy one. No. Odd or even? Uh, I like even. Six pack or stroker ace? <laughs> Six pack. Kale Yarbrough or David Pearson? Pearson. Uh -huh. Definitely Pearson. Uh -huh. Blondes or brunettes? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Top or... Hey, that's it. Yeah. We're, out of, We're time. out of time. All right, super. <laughs> John, so much. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you being on right. The Wind Funnel. I am I'm glad Dino they Bravo. got a real host here. It's a, it's a good improvement for Thanks. the show. Thanks. We appreciate yeah. that. We do appreciate that. Look forward to seeing you back here. Uh, many times throughout the, uh, the course of the throughout season. Throughout the year. Okay. Stick by. We are ready for the Trokin Cup 500 here at the Mini Milwaukee Mile. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later.
Good evening and welcome to the 15th season of the HL Champ Car World Series. We're in Greendale, Wisconsin for the season opener. As always, the Trokin Cup, a race rich with tradition and history. It's here at the Mini Milwaukee Mile. It's the Milwaukee Mile Trokin Cup, 500 laps around this grueling uh, oval. And Mark, uh, Jan B, because this is going to be a heck of a race. It's going to be a heck of a race. It's going to be more exciting to see who can control their cars. We're getting blasted by mosquitoes out here. That's what happens with an outdoor race. That's right. And this is, for the first year, there's no rain, no weather, or nothing. Just mosquitoes, mosquitoes, mosquitoes. It's the Milwaukee Mile race. As you can see, this guy, he's for sale. This guy needs a sponsor. That's John Shea. He, he's won this race two times in a row. He's going for three in a row. No sponsor. He's for sale. He's got the mile head on. Who can get some coin out of them? It could happen. No sponsor. No teammate. Ev Kamakawa is missing. Where's he? He's AWOL tonight. He's supposed to run the full season. We'll see what happens when we're in Chicago. And I am getting chewed up alive here. But it's the mini Milwaukee Mile. It's the Trokin Cup 500, and it's next. Time for the starting grid from the Trokin Cup 500 presented by the Milwaukee Mile at the Mini Milwaukee Mile. There's your pole setter back in form, El Gato. Larry Rodder, perfect in qualifying on the pole with a great run in the car number four. Alongside of him, it's Chris Spirit. He's great on the ovals, the golf for the night. He's a hometown driver outside of row one. All these new cars, look at that blue one. That's the Red Bull car. That is, um, looking at my notes, that's Jim Iverson. I can't drink Red Bull because he told me to give me a stroke. And over there, that, that car, another new car, that's a green one. That's a, uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 Dean, Dean Strom. Back here in this row, I think that's Mike Fitzloff. Am I correct? That's Mike Fitzloff. Kind of the same look as last year. And no different, no change in this car. It's a seven. It's Dan Margetta. He's in the hindsight car. How come I get all the new cars? That's not fair. I don't know which guy is either. Oh, wait. They're telling me that's Tom Spirit in the number two car. It's blue this year instead of red or something. And this car here, oh, this one didn't change. So, uh, thank, thanks, guys, for helping me out. That's, that's, uh, uh, uh that's Mike Kristoff. This car back here didn't change at all, but the driver sure did. Two out of three ra races last year at the, the close up the season, the hottest driver in the circuit as the season concluded a year ago. That's Amy Butler, the beer drinking diva's back. This car's way different. Look at that paint job for Mark Walzak, the car 22. Holy cow, Carl Batman. I think that's the Riddler in that car. I hope he doesn't hurt anybody. Oh, they're telling me it's not really the Riddler. That's uh, uh, John Shea. I don't know why he's got a question mark on that car. And there, that, I think that's Barbie in that car. <laughs> They tell me that's Barbie. No, they're telling me that's Andy Spirit. Well, I wonder why he's talking the Barbie car this year. Probably because of crew chiefs can. And here's your field for the Trokin Cup 500 presented by the Milwaukee Mile. Let's go racing for the HL Champ Car World Series Season 15. It's the first heat race of race number one of the 15th season of the HO Champ Car World Series. They're lined up with defending series champion Jim Iverson in this heat race against the pole sitter for this race, which is Larry Rotter. A spin right there for John Shea in the bright yellow car. He is the two-time defending champ of this race. And he is struggling early on with the handling. Andy Spirit out front early. And it looks like we've got the Barbie car out front. It's a beautiful pink, uh, pink paint job on that car. RJ Foyt is the owner of that car, and uh, he is joining us here in the booth to talk about his driver and, and that terrific car. Uh, RJ, how about that paint job? Man, it sure is snazzy. Snazzy is a good word for it. Now, uh, you, you brought back both your drivers. Last year, we were a little concerned that maybe Andy or, or Mike Fitzloff might not be back on your team. Well, they, they did pretty good for me last year. You know, I, I don't want to... I think they could improve this year, but you know, 
everybody gets a second chance, but after that, everything's, everyone's fair. Well, we'll continue to watch Andy Spirit doing very well so far to open up this season here on the Milwaukee Mile. Now Larry Rotter looks to be uh, taking, taking back the lead as the pole sitter had a terrific run. And we look to see Larry Rotter, the three-time champion of this series, get back uh, you know, right up to the front of the grid. Last year, not winning a race for the entire season. The first time that happened for about five seasons in Larry Rotter's career. The excitement for this heat race at this point is being supplied by John Shea. The yellow car, the blue lane, and a rear end that just does not want to stay on, on the track. Larry Rotter is going to win the first heat race. Second heat race features Dan Margetta, Amy Butler, Dean Strom, and Mike Fitzloff. First lap is Amy Butler on the inside, and now here comes Mike Fitzloff, but he's got a spin on the inside there, which leaves Amy back out, back out front, about ready to put one lap down on Fitzloff. Dean Strom, let's talk about this second year driver. He's running up against his main nemesis here, Dan Margetta, so this will be one to watch here. That's right, last year he, he absolutely dedicated himself to breaking Margetta's soul. I'm not sure that happened since Dan went on to finish just out of the uh, championship, but certainly Dean had a, a quality rookie uh, season for himself, and we'll see if he doesn't, uh, if he can avoid the sophomore jinx. I mean, it looks like he's going to be moving on to the final here, and the question is, you know, who's going to finish second, but I'm not sure they can catch the number of laps that uh, Jim Iverson covered. Here we go, coming up on the finish. Dean Strom looking to win the second heat race of the season, and there it is. Third heat race about to go. There's the participants. That's Chris Spirit with a problem there on the inside. You also have Mark Walzek and Neil Wayne, Tom Spirit. Tom Spirit in the way, Mark Walls, like in a blue lane. That is Mike Kristoff having a problem right there against the wall as the giant moth gets. Another problem there for Mike Kristoff. It's time for a brand new feature this year on the uh, broadcast. We always knew the uh, Kitty Bo Peep gossip section. This is called H.O. Champ Car World Series. It's a soap opera segment. It's Days of Our Rides. Well, we will find out interesting, interesting tidbits about people and questions we'll ask, such as this guy. That's the boiler. What's up with him? Oh, you know, the drama in our series. Maybe he has a drinking problem and we may see him in rehab. Or maybe not. Also, this over here is Chris Spirit. Will he finish the season insane? Or saying sane? Will he go insane by the end of the year? By the time we get to Indy, this man may be in an institution. Stay tuned. This guy is Mark Walzak. Oh, Mark, you know, he's he's always on the edge. I, you just, he's so suspicious. You never know if he's hiding something. He just has that look about him like there's something he's keeping a secret. What's Mark Walzak's secret? And who's this guy? Find out this year on Days of Our Rides on the HO Champ Car World Series TV Network. This is the reason right here while the drivers are calling this the West Nile 500. These are all over the place here at the Speedway. These are giant, giant mosquitoes. You saw that. Now we're told that Mark Walzak has taken the lead. So it's Mark Walzak on his way to win, but Chris Spirit should get his way into the final. It should be those two cars. And Walzak just crashed at the finish. And the final, and here we go. First lap is led by Mark Walzak, but now it's the inside lane, the green lane. Red, red, red. And that is, uh, oh. who's in that green lane? That's Chris Spirit. Chris Spirit out front, just ahead of Mark. And, uh, uh, sir, this isn't the bathroom. Uh, as long as you're here. Uh, so uh, how are you enjoying the race so far? Oh, this is no race. They, they used to race, but they don't race now. What, what would you call this then? This is ridiculous. I, I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I can't find my wife. <laughs> red, red, red. Can somebody please leave this man back to his seat? What happened? Okay, you have to go now. Your dementia is really kicking in, and it's starting to bug me. Yeah, you're a nice guy. Huh? <laughs> you know, you remind me of my son before he turned gay. 
<laughs> All right, we're waiting for pit stops, and we think that uh, Butler Rotter Racing's Larry Rotter is due in right, first here. Time. He says on the radio on the next lap, and he's in. And here we've got Larry Rotter stopping for his pit stop. Everything looks to be going fairly smoothly. We do see them clearing a bit of debris out of the radiator inlet. It looks like it might be an old person's cost-me bag. <laughs> At any point, Rotter is away. 15 second pit stop. Very nicely done. That's well handled, really. And here we have our second pit stop. It is Chris Spirit. Beautiful new car for him this year. They're having a little bit of trouble changing a tire. This one is going to take just a little bit longer, it looks like. Car is just about ready. Slight wing adjustment, drops off the jack, and he's away. And Walzak is in. Here we go. He's got a. It looks like they're doing a slight adjustment with the electrical system on the car. You know what I've never seen is a, a driver take out his cell phone while he's doing a pit stop. Yes, it's going to get better in just a second here. His pit stop is over with. However, he's had a slight problem. He's going to have to do 10 laps with the opposite hand here. The opposite hand while holding the phone with the other hand. No, That's gauge, <laughs> no gauge info is the uh, oh. report from the pit. Well, he's got to keep track of the 10 I'm in. on his own. And Dino Bravo, Dean. Canadian strongman Dean Strom is in the pit. Stop looks good so far, but wait a second, the car just fell off the jack. Now the air wrench has quit working. What is going on in the pit? Fortunately, Dean is strong enough to lift that car by himself. Yes, yeah, so and now they're changing the tires by hand. They are using a lug wrench to change that tire. This is going to be terrible right here. All right, they're done. The car is down, off the jacks, and away he goes. Oh, well, wait a second, wait a second. Marshals are calling him back in. He's been pinched for speeding. Oh, a pit speed violation for Stromy's back in the pits. And we're counting that one off. Go, Dino. And he's back out again, but deep, deep into the field, though. That was a horrible pit stop. He was running fourth, and he had a 30-second stop. And then he throws a temper tantrum coming out of the pit box. Oh, yeah, we've had uh, two 15s, a 20, and a 30 on that round. Well, it's, yeah, you know, the first race of the season, the these teams are clearly very rusty. Yeah, they're very rusty. Look, not, not very sharp. The lead continues to shrink because Chris Spirit in that McDonald's car is closing. And the difference you see right now, about a lap and a half. Oh, and there's a spin for Larry. So it looks like we've got the distance on the track you see right now is the difference. There's the McDonald's car coming up on that black car, and that's Chris Spirit out front. 20 laps left to go. Chris Spirit is on the verge of win number two in his career and opening the season with the points lead. It's been a great night for him all the way around. Qualified well. I don't think you've ever led in four. And uh, won his heat race. Very sharp in his heat race. This is a well-deserved victory if he can hold on. He's reborn here. He's got five laps to go here. We're counting them down. Let's watch that McDonald's car, just like Sebastian Bourdais in the Full Scale Series. The Always flag. winning. Here it comes. Anyone? That's it. Chris Spirit is a winner. Chris Spirit wins the HO Champ Car Season Opener. Hi, Kitty Bo Peep here with Chris Spirit. Excellent. <laughs> well, uh, we haven't seen you since, uh, was it an Indy um, 500 race? Yeah, it's, been, it's been a dog's age. Oh, my God. Well, Chris, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I finally won this race. I've always wanted to win this race, and I finally won this race. I'm Chris, Chris, over here. Really? We have Tom Spirit here who's going to present wow, you with a wonderful Chris. trophy. Oh my gosh, Blatt's beer. When it, when's Blatt's the beer. last? Oh, please don't talk that way. That's you know, the, the night that I met my wife. I drank like 12 bottles of Blatt's at the bowling alley, so it's always going to have a warm spot with me somewhere. All right, Tom Spirit here to present the trophy. Hey, Chris. Oh, look at that uh, thing. That's pretty cool. I'm so glad you take after me and not your mom. Right. Oh, cool. Excellent. You won this one. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, after a couple years of being in Mr. Shade's basement, and now I get to go in your basement. This is cool. the Trokin Cup. I can tell it's kind of uh, dusty. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, and more to come. I hope so. And if you do good, uh, we're going to have to review your contract. Cool. Yes, cool. Yeah, Chris, what do you say? We'll see you next time in Chicago. And it's not just for shopping.